Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Double Talk 73 here again, the fisherman's friend. What I'm going to try to teach you this video is how to maximize your XP here at Blue Crab Island. Uh, the whole point is we're going to fish sunny days only, morning and evening, from 5 to 8.30 in the morning and from 5 to whenever they quit biting in the evening, usually around 8.30, but if they keep on biting until 9 o'clock, I'm going to keep on fishing. So it'll probably be a long video, and uh, I'll do the best I can to shorten it up some. But what we're going to be using is our bottom rod setups, our uh, Heavy Chaser 10-2, Leviathan 10,000.01, one braid, eight ounce sinker, titanium leader, 0 0.014, barbless hook, seven aught, and that's to get maximum uh, XP and money. Although we're not fishing for money here, we're fishing for XP to level up from uh, 54 on up to 58. So you can go to Peru or Maku Maku, whichever you prefer, and large minnows. I got large minnows on two rigs and large cut on two. The large minnows will get us permit and tarpon and some bonefish and every once in a while a gaff. The large cut will get us a red drum, black drum, uh, and the occasional gaff. That's really about all they'll catch. So, where we are, oops, where we're going to be. Sorry, we're going to be fishing, see out in here is where the barge is, we're going to be fishing right over in here in the farming spot, and if you don't know where the farming spot is, if you'll watch that other video that I put out on farming blue crab, uh, you'll know how to get there. This is when we want to fish, here and here. From 5 to around 8.30, it's slow down. It slows down usually between a little after 6 and then sometimes a little after 7 and then just a little after 8. But several times I have filled my net and I've got 1,100 and 2 pound net keeper, keeper net, however you want to say it. And I have filled my net before the 8.30 or right at 8.30 a.m. And then I just continue on to 5 p.m. and continue on fishing. Uh, we don't get the money, but we get the XP. And I have pictures on my Steam page. And I am Bobby2888 on Steam. And you can look me up and see that I've and one that I post. I thought I posted a second one, but the one of my posts I had. 64,000, almost 65,000 in XP. Uh, just a normal fishing day with a full net. I have around between 45 and 50. I had one day that they kept on biting right all the way up to 9 o'clock. And I had almost 75,000 in XP. That's the most I've ever gotten in a, in a single day of fishing. So it's a good, it's a good system. So uh, let's go fishing. Okay, I've already got my rod stand set up, and I usually like to set it up a little off to the right. Here's the two places we're going to be aiming at. This is where we put the uh, large minnows, and I'll put the GPS location for the two markers in the description. And there's the other one. There's where we're going to put the two large cut. So let's go ahead and... I've got to cast it here and see if we can get it to cooperate. Okay, there we go. It didn't want to the first time. <laughs> okay, we're on our sunny morning. And I like to clip my rods so I don't have to guess every time. As to how far out to cast, don't have to use the blue circle. I can just get it back out there in a hurry. 
hook and bait and water is how you catch fish. Then it's a little short. I went around 40, 42, 40, 44, somewhere around in there. There we go, it'll come back. And then over here, same thing. I like it around 55, 56. Now you can overcast and just bring it back. You don't have to just aim it to see I'm going to overcast this one and bring it back to about 54. Now we're just waiting for things to get started. I'm going to put my headphone. I don't have external speakers. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can listen for the sound of the ding, ding, ding on the bells. When I know I've got fish on, put fish hooked up. The spring rods will show you you've got a good, good bite. Spring arm, let me rephrase that, which is this part right here. It'll come up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But when it comes up against the rod and is parallel and stays there for three or four flashes, you know you've got a fish on. Or if you don't notice that you've caught a fish, it'll flash on your rod stand. Just beep, beep. Okay, fish on. And you'll catch uni uh, black bass, uni red drum here. And with the minnows, you should catch, during the time that we're fishing, you should catch uh, uni tarpon. Marker's kind of hard for this old blind man to see in the fog. So I'll use the light to help. But only a few times have I not filled up my net by 8.30. And one time it was 9.90 something. And one time it was 11.90, or excuse me, 10.90 something. But it had slowed down. So I just went ahead and went on to the, to the evening. Because all I needed was one fish to fill it up. This will be a long video, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. You can use that slide bar down at the bottom and fast forward to the end and you'll see what kind of XP I got. And I've learned to pause the video, so I'll pause it when there ain't a whole lot happening. And I think that's what I'm going to do now is I'll pause it and then come back on at, at 8 a.m. So you can see what's uh, what's been happening. That way shorten the video up some. Okay. It's just a little after 6. And... I just finished landing. I had two in a row, two uni black drum. The 95 pounder, this one here is the one I just landed. And I want you to look at the XP on it. I got more XP than money on both of them. But this is six o'clock. See, it said uh, 611. And so far, we've already got 11 fish. We got 424 pounds. That's a third of the net. Okay, so I'm going to pause again and come back in again at uh, maybe 7, a little after 7. Okay, it's uh, right at 7 o'clock. So during that hour, we only cost about 100, caught about 150 pounds. But still, we're at... Uh,
602 pounds, half a net, in two hours, which uh, makes pretty good. So during that time, I caught a uh, a nice uni drum, red drum. See, X, more XP than than money. Uh, so we're doing pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and keep on fishing. And I'll come back in it at 8.30. Okay, here we are. We're coming up on 8.30. We've got uh, 921 pounds of fish. And it's been slow for about the last... I've only caught one fish in the last 15, 20 minutes of game time. Seems like every time... Uh, the hours, uh, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, it slows down for about 10 to 15 minutes of game time. Then it picks up again. So, that's where we are. Okay. We have a total of $51,000 and 28 fish. And our XP is, you can't tell yet. But uh, So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everything in. And we're going to uh, transport to 5 p.m. Now, if you come down here with an 880 net, you've already filled it up. Just keep on fishing. Uh, we're not down here for money. We're down here for XP. And Deathwing is the lady that uh, told me that, you know, I put out the uh, farming sturgeon in... Uh, California is the fastest way to get XP. Well, it is if you're not a high enough level to get down here. Or you can, you know, you can get here other ways. We'll talk about it at the end. And uh, but once you get here, this is what you want to do. And the fishing has been slow. So I'm really kind of glad so I can show you uh, more or less a worst possible scenario as to what you can do down here when the conditions are not really good. There's a pretty good strong breeze. Uh, it was 4.3 earlier. Now it's 4.5. That's that's more than a breeze. <laughs> that's that's a pretty good wind. And it's blowing out of the west. So it's blowing the fish away from us, really, because we're facing east in the real world. So I'm not going to come back anymore on the hour. I'm just going to go until the uh, 8.30 or 9 o'clock, whenever they quit biting, and uh, let you know what we got then, okay? Okay, I, it's uh, 6.03, and you can see I just fit, filled my net, and now I'm fishing on their dollar for just XP. There again, if you come down here with a uh, 880 keeper, you were full a long time ago. So I'm just going to keep on fishing now until... Somewhere between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. And then I'll be back. Okay. I'm going to record this the rest of the way out. Uh, at 7 o'clock, the wind changed directions. It started blowing to the west, which is towards us which will push the fish towards us. Uh, from 6 to 7, it was still blowing from from south to north, which is across us, and the fishing was terrible. It was very, very slow. Uh, from 6 to 6.30, I only caught one fish. It was a uni red drum. From 6 to 6, excuse me, 
Then at 6, 32, and 34, I caught a back-to-back, -back, a big trophy uh, black and a big trophy red, and then a couple of small ones. And didn't catch anything else till 7 o'clock. And then at 7 o'clock, when the wind changed directions, and it's blowing a little bit easier. It's only uh, 3.6, but it is blowing towards us. It picked up again. So I'm going to record the rest of the way out. I'm glad that uh, I picked this time to do this. Uh, like I say, this is probably the worst fishing condition you can fish in when the wind's either blowing across you or away in real life. Uh, I fish below the dam here at my house, which is a couple miles away. And depending on which side way the wind's blowing, that determines which side of the river I want to fish on. Uh, the river runs uh, east to west through our town, so if the wind is blowing from the uh, from the south, I'll go fish on the north side. If it's blowing from the north, I go fish on the south side because it will blow the fish into the bank. And I have tested that and fished on the opposite side with the wind at my back and fished for three or four hours and caught nothing. But, as anybody that enjoys fishing in real life will tell you, a hard day of fishing, catching nothing, an absolutely terrible day of fishing, is better than any good day at work. <laughs> and that's the way I always feel. So I enjoy just being out there. So we're at 7.30, we've got another hour and we'll see uh, how things progress. We're still... 336, I mean 3.6 mile per hour with it blowing in our face. Can't tell from the water. The ripples don't tell you which way the wind blowing. But the fishing has picked up some. The only thing I can figure is that time that I got the 74,000 XP, evidently the wind had been blowing either slightly or when it was blowing harder. It was blowing in my face, and I didn't, I didn't even take that in consideration. Didn't look. Hey, I'm an old man. I can't remember to look at everything. But I'm trying to make this long video as short as possible, as enjoyable for y'all. Um, let me close this down. One of my buddies, private chat, and you see where I've caught. That's the one I caught. I'm catching some unis. But thanks again for watching my video. I know if you watch it this long, you've been sliding the bar along to see to see what's going on. See here we are. Then slow down a little bit again. That's due to time, I believe. And I know it'll slow down again after 8 o'clock. Always does. Make a liar out of me this time. Come on. I don't know whether you remember or not when I started this video. I was just barely uh, into level 58. So you can see how far that bar slid across to the right just during this time. XP, that's what it takes. This is the way to fish. <laughs> I like to hunt like this too. <laughs> I don't remember if, I, if, you, if you remember me telling the story. Uh, I was on a managed hunt over in Middle Tennessee. Uh, you put in for the hunt. It's over at Arnold Engineering Development Corporation, AEDC. And they select at random 200 people that all can go in. It. And it's a shotgun hunt, you slugs. And it seemed like every time I put in for it, I got it. So, excuse me. One day I was over there and it was. Uh, you know, I, I drive, it's about 60 miles from my house. 
I drive over there, park, go into the woods, get up in my stand, and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And it starts warming up. I'm in my stand like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I have there plenty of time for the deer to start moving for their morning feed or watering. And it started warming up. And it got about 65 degrees by, by 9.30. Ain't nothing moving. They know there's not a hint of nothing moving, no wind, nothing. So I climbed down out of a tree and go find me a nice pine tree, sit down, lean back up against it, sun shining down on me, stick my legs out, cross my feet, laid the shotgun across my legs. In a couple of minutes, I was asleep. Oh, that sun felt so good, so warm, so relaxing. Just gone don't know how long I was asleep now there are wild hogs over in that area and they're feral uh, you mess with them and they'll eat you up but anyhow I'm there get leaning against the tree asleep and something wakes me up something tugging on the toe of my boot and I'm thinking oh lord it's a hog by the time I grab my shotgun, that hog is going to eat me up. So I slowly open my eyes. Just, I didn't want to move too jerky. Didn't want to upset anything. I got my eyes open just a little bit and I saw this doe. Big old doe. Big old brown eyes. Ears flopping. She was tugging at my boot trying to figure out what I was. <laughs> She was beautiful. Them just big old brown eyes. And she looked at me and, and it was what seemed like forever. We just looked at each other. I didn't move. Didn't want to startle her. And she just finally just turned around and just walked on off into the woods. And I didn't want to shoot her. I mean that was a that would have been anticlimactical to that beautiful moment. And I figured God sent that deer to me just for me to enjoy that moment. And I did. I really enjoyed it. I know I'll never forget it. <laughs> I'll also never forget the hog running me up the tree up in Indiana. And I've got a 22 rifle and I'm back squirrel hunting. <laughs> 22 rifle, all it's going to do is just upset a hog. <laughs> a 22 is going to make them mad like a bee sting. <laughs> I stayed up in a tree for over three hours waiting on that sucker to leave it. It was rooting around on the ground going around looking up at me and rooting around just waiting on me to come down it, it figured out it was breakfast or lunch whatever <laughs> so I stayed up that tree for three hours I was 14 years old I was not going to come down <laughs> that tree <laughs> until I knew that sucker was long gone oh lordy when it finally took off just kind of heading off back through the woods I still waited a while before I come down then I went down and trotted my butt back to the farmhouse. So, and granddad said, where you been? I said, up a tree. <laughs> and I told him he thought that was hilarious. At the time, I didn't think it was too funny because, oh, Lordy, I didn't feel like dying right then. 7.56, you got slow again. Had a wind still coming in her face. Oh, here's something's funny, too. I don't know if you noticed or not. Down this end is where the boat dock and everything is. Over here where the barge is. That's north and south, okay? When, when you come here and start fishing, if you ever come to the boat, uh, boat dock, get in your boat to come over here to the farming area, it's in the morning. So the sun is coming up from the east, right? Wrong. When you're driving out here to this farming area or headed towards the barge to fish, you're driving right straight into the sun, and it's coming up from the south. <laughs> ah, I like that. It's a video game. You can't expect everything to be real and right. They have done a marvelous, wonderful job on this game. What can you do? What can you beat for free? Huh? This is wonderful. And I got lucky enough to be one of the testers for the beta version of the Maku Maku down in Peru. Awesome. Totally awesome. 
the Arapaima. My biggest is 194, 196, I believe. And I was fishing in an area where one of, one of the other guys, uh, Black Plague, caught a 218 pound Arapaima. That's a big fish. A big fish. But we were down there trying to find bugs and problems so that the developer, Demetro, could uh, make changes, little corrections, do updates. And man, he's good. We'd come up with a bug, and it wasn't no time at all, and he'd have it fixed. It was cool. And for being down there uh, for testing, they gave us the code to go into there. And he gave each of us that went down there $10 million in cash and a million bait coins so we could buy gear and, and do whatever we wanted to do down there, which that was totally odd. I never had a million bait coins. I'd forgotten that. And when I put the video out about uh, the first look at Makumaku, in the Amazon, a guy sent me a comment on how I got a million coins. So they, you know, you, they don't give coins for unis anymore, and blah 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 blah. And uh, just want to know how I got a million coins. And I just replied, "Work." It didn't dawn on me that about that video being the one from Maku Maku. And then later on, I realized. I told him, I said, I've only got something over 2,600 coins. And most of them we got farming uh, rowdy bass here at uh, Blue Crab during the St. Patty's event. And I wound up with approximately 1,500 bait coins to the good because of, of that event, which I thought was pretty cool. So anyhow, when I finally remembered that, that million bait coins was from down there in the Maku Maku on the tester version, I had to send him a, an apology and told him that I didn't I didn't want you to think I thought that you were a liar. It just didn't dawn on me until just a while ago that that video was from down there where that's what was given to us to work with. And I apologize. Please forgive me. And he came back and said, ah, it's okay. Blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, I'm an old man and old man don't remember everything. But he was nice about it. But I apologize. That's that's what you're supposed to do when you make a mistake. Okay, we're at 813. Come on, fish. Here again. Worst possible condition when we started out. Because this is only twice so far when I started at 5 a.m. Did I not fill my keep net by 8.30 and the other time it was like a thousand ninety something pounds this time it was a little over 900 940 somewhere so that's the worst possible scenario so when we when I show you how much XP we get for doing this for this well we're fishing uh, seven hours seven hours game time which is an hour and 45 hour and 50 minutes of real time so you can divide that up and see how much XP you get per fishing hour or per real time hour. There again, this being worst possible case scenario. And the other thing is, I haven't caught a uni tarpon this time. Caught a couple of uni uh, black drum, a couple of uni red drum. I haven't caught a uni, but I don't catch uni tarpon here. I mean, uh, permits here. I just catch trophies, the biggest thing I catch here. Uh, but I usually catch one or two uni uh, little catfish, top sail cats. Haven't caught any of them yet either. So this has been a not good condition fishing. But hopefully the XP will bear out that what I'm trying to show you is worthwhile. I hope you think it is. Deathwing sure thinks it is, and I have to agree with her. No 
without a doubt. She probably been fishing a whole lot longer than me. <laughs> uh, my wife just left a couple minutes ago to take my son his lunch. <laughs> and that's my great Pyrenees barking because he wanted to go too. <laughs> He can't go in her car. He's almost as big as her car. She's got a little Chevrolet Equinox. I think it's an Equinox. It's a little bitty SUV. She likes it. Whatever. Eight twenty-four. Give me one more fish before eight thirty. Come on, one more fish. Two would be nice, but I'll take one. Come on. I'm gonna catch one more fish, one way or another, before I quit. Before I go, go to the to the uh, final tally. Please. But thanks again for watching. I hope you stuck with me throughout the whole thing. I tried to use the pause on. Uh, software so that you wouldn't have to watch an hour and 45 minutes of video that's just it take forever for that process to put it to upload it to this is going to take a while and if I hadn't posted so many videos they, they wouldn't they just wouldn't dis they would disallow this one anyhow because of the length Well, I guess I'm going to make a liar out of myself. I don't want to catch one more fish. Yeah, I do. I don't care if I go to 9 There it is. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One more fish. That's it. 830. <laughs> uh, tenacity. Yes, tenacity. Oh, we got another one. Oh, mercy here. Go give me another one. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let me get the rest of my rods in. And we'll call it quits for the for this. Now, I have no idea what the XP is going to be, but we're fixing to find out. Get ready for the next day. Tab. Next morning, extend fifty six thousand. That ain't too bad. That's not seventy four. But if I just fill my net, I wind up with around forty thousand, forty two thousand. So that's fourteen thousand more, and a whole lot more fun. So the worst case I've done here is this right here, fifty six thousand. So thanks again for watching. Uh, God bless you and your family. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, it's fun, and it's it'll it'll help you live a lot, level up to that fifty-eight or sixty, whichever you want. I'm gonna stay here till sixty, and uh, that way I don't have to worry about uh, leveling up as much next time they open up another waterway. So thanks again. Uh, take care. Be safe and be well. Take care of your families. And uh, please subscribe if you'd be so kind. Click on that bell over there to the, to the right so that you get notified when I put up any, any new videos. And if you have any questions and you see me in a game, please ask. Uh, if I don't know the answer, if I know the answer, I'll answer. If I don't, I'll try to find out the answer. Now, a lot of people have been asking when this. Uh, new lake, the Maku Maku is going to come up on, on uh, the console, and I have no idea. Xbox and PS4, I, I have no idea. They haven't told me that. So, but when I find out, y'all will know. So, uh, okay, I'll catch you later. Uh, y'all come back now, you hear? Thanks again.